Shalom everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom, mm, I'm sorry, kingdom ministry or ministries, international videos, I'm Kenethia J, welcome back. You are moving, pack your bags, you are moving to your promised land, okay? Oh, that's another thing, abundance, oh my gosh. We did see that last night, and the Lord confirmed. As he been doing, it was for me and my uh, person now that I'm with. Let me see if I can find something. Oh, if you are in a relationship, seeing 888 is a sign that you are a power couple. I've been seeing like little signs as I'm scrolling. Like I see Jay-Z, Beyonce. I see other couples that's been mentioned. But like I don't want that. Like I'm sorry. No offense. But I don't like comparison. Like I like to be our own and then just to respect those who were here before us. Like I'm that kind of person. But, sorry, <laughs> I gotta come out, sorry. <laughs> they said we know, Kenethia, okay. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so if you're seeing 888, it is a sign that you and your person, you guys are a power couple. Together, you're leveraging new heights. You are with a counterpart who respects you and is invested in your connection's future. Mm. Together, you can achieve a lot. And you, I'm sorry, and you're meant to build wealth as a part of your legacy, as a part of your <laughs> legacy. This is a big blessing. Okay, so if you're seeing the number 888, it is a huge thing of abundance. Okay, abundance. Infinite abundance, sorry. Infinite, that means it's forever. Nine, 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 eight, eight, eight. Infinite. In love, in money, in career, in more. It also refers to new cycles, cycles. Okay. We've been seeing that name, Sarah. It's a lot of other names. I didn't mention it in the other video, but it's it's like three, four, five other names to go along with the other two names. But that's what the Lord is saying. He shouldn't have to say your name for you to stop doing what you're doing. It shouldn't take Kenithia for Kenithia to say your name, you to get in publicly embarrassed, and then now you want to back off because you can't cover it no more. Like, everybody's supposed to be grown about it. And that's actually part of this message, um, entering your promised land. Only the faithful and obedient got to enter the promised land because the ones who were like you guys, they started out being obedient and faithful. They lost their promised land due to them turning out to be disobedient. And so that's, a, I guess that's part two. So somebody here, you're moving and you're entering into your promised land. And then the other people, you're losing your promised land because of your actions, because of your character, because you just wouldn't leave people alone. You had to control their house and your house. And so ultimately it was a form of manipulation, says the Lord. You try to manipulate somebody into doing something you wanted them to do. And that's never God's character. And when he did speak, you came against God himself. When he came through your husband plenty of times, says the Holy Spirit. When he came through your dad, says the Holy Spirit. 
And so due to Rabba, yes, Lord, due to the disobedience and the outcome of you losing your faithfulness to the Heavenly Father, through your actions, you are losing your promised land. Oh, if you see a a a, I skipped to a new website because I saw that name and I just I never meant to go there. It just has to be there, I guess. Anyway, sorry. Okay. What I saw was if you're seeing a a a your um your guys, your guardian angels, your spirit guys, they're letting you know that your romance will continue to blossom. Okay, it's supposed to go up, not down. It's also time to explore new opportunities and avenues. Don't, if, if nothing, that's, I'm a big, I don't care what this thing said. That's what I just heard. If it's not broke, don't fix I mean, don't, don't try to fix it. Okay. So if everything going well, you have to kind of use your common sense. You know that it's not telling you to break up with nobody. At the same time, it's telling you that you and your couple are a power couple. So if you are seeing AAA and you're in a relationship that's not, you're not happy. It's not, um, it's very toxic, says the Lord. It's always argument, verbal abuse. It's no peace. Like the Lord's not in it. He's telling you to let it go. If you're chasing something or someone, let it go, says the Lord. Move into your new. Okay. Stop, stop. If somebody told you no, say, <laughs> Says the Lord, uh, once again, move forward. That's what he's saying. That's the clarity. He's not just saying move forward, but he's telling everybody to go their separate ways in peace. Okay. Now for the back to the positive couple. If you're also seeing AAA, it is a directive to ensure that both partners are putting equal efforts into communicating and growing together to allow love to flow in both directions. That's another word I saw. Oh my gosh, the Holy Spirit is really speaking. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, Son. Communicating. How are you trying to communicate with, with your person? Um other than spiritually <laughs> like how are you physically trying to help this relationship stay alive and so that's something to look at you you don't want to only have a spiritual communication but you want to have something to where you could just I always say it irks the hell out of me I can't call my boyfriend it, it I, I hate that it takes me, it's like, it takes me back to so much stuff that never worked out because of it. Like, I, oh my gosh, I can't stand it, but I'm over here being patient at the end of the day and rushing things too. So anyway, I don't like that. But communication is so important to have a phone call, to have a text message, to just hear the person's voice like what are you in a relationship with if you can't do any of these things it's like you could die and connect with people with people spiritually like <laughs> you're on earth to have a human experience you want to be able to talk to people to see people to all of that so it is a directive to ensure if you are seeing a a a fix the communication okay make sure both parties are putting in an equal effort towards the communication and not just one person complaining about no communication. <laughs> but the thing is, when you're connected, I'm sorry, when you're connected, 
to your partner um, and you can communicate, whether it be through the Holy Spirit or telepathically. It's still a communication, but it's not like the real human thing. It's still spiritual. Okay, so it's not, yeah, it's like you're still doing the same thing. <laughs> you're still doing the same thing as the other ones, but. The favor of the Lord. Make sure both parties are putting in equal efforts to communicate to each other. Okay, there are different forms of communicating. When you see 888 or 3 eights, it signals accomplishment in all areas of peace, divinity, spiritual empowerment, happiness, and unconditional love. Okay. Abundance and harmony with romantic relationships. That's what I was saying. If your relationship is not broke, don't fix it. If it's broke, fix it. They're telling you to get rid of the old okay if it's toxic if it's not working out don't stretch it out just end it it's also a signal 888 is the manifestation of wealth and financial stability okay so you have to see the number eight when moving or shifting or manifesting all of these it doesn't matter if you're with the nine <laughs> you have to see all of these numbers are manifestation numbers okay shalom